God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. You are my rescue or my help. O Lord, do not delay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, All you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come without pain and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The hand of the Lord feeds us. He answers all our needs. The eyes of all look hopefully to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire for every living thing. The hand of the Lord feeds us, he answers all of our needs. The Lord is just in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The hand, the hand of the Lord, Lord feeds us, he answers all of our needs.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, what will separate us from the love of Christ? Will anguish or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No, in all these things we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor present things, nor future things, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
conspiracy. Because, you know, Herod was worried about this Jesus. Murder, in the case of John the Baptist, his beheading. And a fair bit of arrogance. Now, this banquet that Jesus hosts and has with his disciples and the crowd. What occurs? Well, we find healing. We find a faithful obedience in the disciples, even with what little they have. And the caring for others in the sharing of food. I'm sure you can admit that these are very different meals. The banquet of the Eucharist that we celebrate at Mass at every opportunity is foreshadowed in this meal with Jesus in the field. The multiplication of the loaves and the fishes. Coming to Mass for you and I, we set aside the banquets of Herod. We set aside the idea of our egos, of our materialism, of our consumerism. We don't seek to replicate that in the liturgy. The liturgy is God's work that we participate in fully through Christ. And we replace the banquets of Herod, these things I mentioned, with God's kingdom in mind. Think about this, the language you heard in the gospel, you'll hear exact similar language in the Eucharistic prayer. You hear words like taking, looking up to heaven, saying the blessing, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples. Don't let those words go idle. Let them penetrate your very being to know that this is the food of everlasting life. This is the food that sustains in the Eucharist. This is what we seek. We find it in this liturgy. And in God's kingdom, this communion, this fraternal caring, and a surrender to God's grace. Rather than wanting the church to be like the world, as one man said, we should want the world to be like the church. This is the banquet that we want. The banquet that's foreshadowed in Matthew's Gospel. I want to leave you with a, a meditation on a letter. Or a meditation based in a letter. And it's a letter to a, a man in Rome. And he, he inquired, he asked, Tell me about these Christians. Because at that time in history, Rome, uh, to be a Christian is a capital crime. Because if Caesar is not Lord, you will get killed. And yet we proclaim Jesus Christ is Lord. So we would certainly go against the grain, against the culture of the era. Anyhow, this letter written, a snippet of it, I want to share parts of it with you. He says, Christians are indistinguishable from other men by nationality, language, or custom. They do not inhabit separate cities of their own or speak a strange dialect or follow some outlandish way of life. Their teaching is not based upon reveries inspired by the curiosity of men. You can think of Herod, for example. Unlike some other people, they champion no purely human doctrine with regard to dress, food, and manner of life in general. They follow the customs of whatever city they happen to be living in, whether it is a Greek or foreign. And yet there is something extraordinary about their lives. They live in their own countries as though they were only passing through. They play their full role as citizens, but labor under all the disabilities of foreigners. 
Any country can be their homeland, but for them, their homeland, wherever it may be, is a foreign country. Like others, they marry and have children, but they do not expose them. They share their meals, but not their wives. Further down, to speak in general terms, we may say that the Christian is to the world what the soul is to the body. I need to pause and explain that. As I've said before, and as I've said to some, we are a composite. We have a body, a materiality to us, a matter, and a soul that goes together. You could say it in a different way that a body without a soul is a corpse, and a soul without a body is a ghost. Why? The soul animates the body. It puts it to life. Therefore, if you have no soul, you have no life. To take that analogy to the extreme of what this author wrote, we give life to the world. We animate the world, not the other way around. That's wonderful, and at times challenging. But we will not have life in us if we do not consume our God. In effect, our soul would be malnourished or dead, spiritually speaking. The moment we encounter the Lord, the moment we are satisfied in the Lord, comes at that banquet that He provides alone. That's the banquet we all desire to be at and desire all to be present for. Not the banquets that bring about evil, not the banquets that sow the problem, but those that bring life and life to the full. I leave you with just the simple prayer that the Lord enkindle in your heart His love, that you may be given the animation, the life that can only come from Him alone, that you may receive in Him through the Eucharist. May that banquet be the banquet you desire to be in. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, in the life of the world to come. Amen. To God, the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. For His will it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. For the Church, may Christ continue to bless her with all she needs to bring His love to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may God grant them compassion and wisdom in their decision-making. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, our families and friends, 
May we be given the wisdom to discern what God is asking us to do and the nourishment to answer that call with generosity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, may the Lord bring them healing, comfort, and strength, especially Stephen Artis, Chad Baker, Father Joe Damhorst, Dan Curl, Sergio Reyes, Phil Spaulding, and Deacon Jim Wall. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord For those who have died, may they rest in God's eternal love. We pray for Jim Kahn's, Ernest Grito, Lois Hoffpastor, Carmen Vigia Bella, and Anita Johnson Vogel. We pray to the Lord. Lord. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, and for our intention for today's Mass, the people of St. Bernadette. We pray to the Lord. 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 O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith can be truly obtained. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and what you human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accept the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, if your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bernadette, St. Francis de Sales, St. Kateri, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, Jorge, our Auxiliary Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. But, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will not hunger, and whoever believes in me will not thirst. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a brief word of gratitude for you who come to pray and watch through the um, filming of these masses and for your generous contributions which have made these things possible. We are truly grateful. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. 